said already, but it bears repeating. Uh, this is a great day for Staten Island and a great day for Debbie Rose and her family. Now, I have to say, my father comes to City Hall every day. He had hoped that when I became speaker, it would go back to the way it was in Tammany Hall when the Irish ran New York government. He thought he would get a no-show job with Pet. <laughs> Hispanic and white, 
where upper middle class and some on social service, tenants, landlords, cooperators, and unfortunately, some are homeless, but in spite of the perceived problems that would be inherent in differences, when you bring so many people together, Staten Island is teaching the rest of this city who we are, what we are, and what we can be. So with this rich tapestry of cultures and languages and traditions, it would only be the next step that Staten Island would add to its gender and uh, orientation diversity by bringing the first African American to elect a service in the New York City Council. But we couldn't have made a better choice because this woman stands on her own, uh, regardless of what race or what culture or what ethnicity uh, anyone else comes from. She uh, distinguished herself in service right here on the local school board and in the New York City Board of Education. She's been a leader of the Urban League, the American Cancer Society, and the Staten Island Mental Health Society. Her commitment to youth was evidenced uh, by a new school on the North Shore that had the first uh, handicapped, hearing impaired, and uh, visually disabled uh, evaluation unit. It's good to know, maybe I'll drop by. <laughs> and it yielded the graduation of 1,600 students who otherwise might have actually fallen through the cracks. And so, uh, this is a woman who once lost running for the city council by 300 votes, came back, lost by 160 votes, and now she has won. And what she's teaching me, But she's teaching me and teaching all of us in these very difficult times that in spite of the odds and in spite of uh, all that goes on around you, you don't give up. If you have a belief, if you have a dream, you don't give up. Uh, just this week, I attended the funeral of Percy Sutton, and there was one little fact. Uh, a person who uh, is among those whose shoulders we stand on today, there's one fact that in four hours, no one mentioned at the whole funeral. Which is why if I hadn't had to go to the State of State address, I would have been there to mention. <laughs> but the reality is that Percy Sutton lost 11 elections before he was elected to the New York State Assembly. Wow. So walking in the shoes of a Percy Sutton, we have the new Councilwoman Debbie Rose. And Debbie Rose. All right. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and uphold. That I will support and uphold. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the United States. Uh oh. <laughs> of the State of New York. Don't leave out the state. Can I have and the, the And the Charter of the City of New York. And the Charter of the City of New York. And that I will discharge those duties. And that I will discharge those duties. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, God.